looking good in maroon here. Got the swag today. Teachers, thank you for coming. Good to see you guys. And good to see you guys. Welcome to the show, my friends. Today, I have three bright-minded students over here looking great in their shirts against their teachers who teach them all the information. They're from Boys Latin Middle School in West Philadelphia, and they just entered the classroom. The show that pitched students against their all-time favorite teachers. You guys know the drill. They showed up. They said, we're doing this thing big. The cheering section, the fellas are in the house. What's up, guys? I'm digging the white shirts out there. You guys are looking good. It's $500 tonight. But more importantly, it's all about those bragging rights, am I right? Let's jump right into it. It's pop quiz time. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Here are the questions. Who's going to come out on top after pop quiz? We have time on the clock. Let's do this thing. Here we go, guys. Good luck. The Philadelphia Union playing what professional soccer league? Here we go, Miss Outlaw. Soccer. Stuart for the steal. Uh, what professional soccer league? Buzzing if you know it. Uh, Justin. Uh, the National Soccer League. We're looking for the Major League Soccer, the MLS. We move on to this. How many seconds are in a half minute? Because here. 15. For the steal, Miss Outlaw? 30. 30 is right. We move on. What process occurs when the sun heats a puddle of water and the surface liquid molecules turn into a gas? Here we go, Miss Roby. Evaporation. Evaporation or vaporization is right. Here we go. What is the name of Winnie the Pooh's sad donkey friend who frequently loses his tail? Miss Outlaw. Eeyore. Eeyore is right. I always feel so bad for him. <laughs> what two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Wyoming? Miss Outlaw again. W-Y. W-Y is right. Fellas, let's get you guys jump started right here. I feel like this one's yours. What is the first and last name of the actress who stars as Sierra in Nickelodeon's Night Squad? Buzzer stay silent on that one. Looking for Daniela Perkins. How about this one, though? Double the points. I'm going to make this worth 20 points right here. Mm. Appomattox Courthouse is known for being the site where one army surrendered to another, ending what war? Buzz in if you know it, Justin. The, um, the Cold War? No. Not the Cold War. Teach for the steal. One second on the clock. We're looking for the Civil War there. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Okay, guys. We're going to look to jumpstart them here. Out of it, teachers, 40 points for you guys. Students, no points yet. But, man, those buzzers are about to be filled up with gas. We're not going to be able to stop them here as the game continues. Guys, $500, man, is on the line today. If you win it, Kasir, Kasir, Justin, you guys get to choose where it goes. Where are we putting it? We're doing student of the month incentive. Oh, nice, man. So if you're uh, if you're the best in school, you get a little uh, get extra little money in the pocket, huh? Or something. Mm -hmm. Surprises yeah. the whole nine yards. Teachers, what are we doing? We're going to renovate our teachers' lounge. Yeah, maybe put a Keurig coffee maker in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, we got a lot of plans. Look, that's where the money's going. Where are they going? Probably into detention. your buzzers down, you'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, there we go. We're going to start with the trailing. We're going to get the students involved here early with their category, fellas, of children's books. You guys talk about it. Do you love that? Do you hate it? Do you want to play or pass? We're going to play this? Here we go. Nasir's like, nah, I said pass. Here we go. There's your question. What children's book by Marcus Pfister is about a colorful character who learns to make friends by sharing his shimmering scales? You guys can talk about it. Um, Rainbow Fish? Rainbow Fish is right, my fellas. Feeling good, feeling confident. Justin, you ever have his attention before? 
Yes. Okay, well, have you ever given a detention before? No. Okay, well, there's three awesome teachers over here. We're about to get one, so which teacher are we going with? Miss Outlaw. Miss Outlaw is out of there. She's an English teacher and no longer in the game. Miss Outlaw, on and under breath, she goes, I knew that was coming. So she knew that was first one in detention. You get comfortable over there, and teachers, we go to you. How do you guys feel about the category of movies? I feel pretty good. You're fine? Still fine. All right, here we go, guys. Mm -hmm. Good luck. In the Lego movie, what name do the characters use for the tube of crazy glue? I have no idea. You guys are smiling through this fantastically. <laughs> um, we, we don't know. <laughs> Not the answer we were looking for. The Craggle was the right one. That's such a good movie. So, teachers. Miss Milliken and Miss Roby, stay tuned because one of you going to detention. Guys, who are we sending? Miss Roby. <laughs> Miss Roby goes, our science teacher leaving our instructional support teacher to fend for herself. <laughs> All right, fellas, the cabin. I love that. A little hug and detention for you two over there. All right, guys, so here's your choice. You have your category is math. Do you love it? Do you, do you hate it? Play, 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 play. We're going to play. Here you go. What is the reciprocal of four in fraction form? The reciprocal of four in fraction form. What is it? Reciprocal of four in fraction form. I don't know, bro. Answer? No answer. One four. One fourth is what we were looking for there. It was the reciprocal, so no points. Yes. Couldn't get the sweep. Miss Milliken, you live to see another day here. Which one of our students is going into detention? Uh, Kai Seer. Mm. Kai Seer out of there. He's our eighth grader. And first into detention, leaving two students, one teacher, and the category is in your hands. Science. Uh -oh. Pass. Here we go, guys. What is the name of the soft, pinkish tissue that surrounds the base of the teeth? Gums. Gums. Gums is right, and students win the tension. Miss Milliken, you are off. That's a tough pass for you. Hey, Kassir, you're out, brother. You're out. You're back with the moment. Here we go. I'll tell you what. Now, look. You guys, we're looking right there to that camera. We're 30 points on the board. It's a tie game, and when we come back, and on the show today, it's the students and teachers from Boys Lab Middle School, West Philly, home of the Warriors. What up, fellas? Wait till you guys meet the teams. Come on, let's kick it over. Hi, my name is Justin Williams, and I play lacrosse, football, and I play drums. Hi, my name is Nasir Davis. I'm in eighth grade, and I make this vest look good. Hi, my name is Gustav Oliver. I'm in eighth grade, and I play basketball. Hey! I'm Shirley Outlaw, 8th grade English, and the guys are going down today. Hi, I'm Stacey Nolkin. I'm the 8th grade instructional support teacher, and I'm here today to help the teachers win. Hi, I'm Liz Roby. I teach 8th grade science, and it's not chemical, but I can't wait to see my students react when we win. How about that? The teams are geared and ready, and I could not agree more. Nasir, you do make that vest look real good. Let's kick it up to some art class, everybody. Okay, here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw on this board. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. The artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. They're right here. You're going to have five seconds to draw. Your teammates will have ten seconds to come up with one guess. Correct answer in the first round is worth 30 points. If you guys guess incorrectly, I'll give you a few more chances, but the points are going to decrease as we go. All right, my man Justin, red or blue? Blue. Blue it is, you stand behind the board, you can check out that card and grab a pen. I'll throw the red into my pocket here as we open this up. You see your word? Okay. All right, that's what you are gonna draw. You have five seconds to draw this, this first round. Here we go, it's on the board. Here we go, and go. He's kicking it up. I like what he's thinking here, all right. 
You guys have 10 seconds to talk about it. Good luck. You did a good job here. Yeah, Justin did a very good job. <laughs> Ready? Yes. yes. What do you think? French fries. French fries is right. First round. Justin, my dude, that's what I'm talking about. All right, you head over there. You just put some serious pressure on the teachers. The audience is loving it. I'm hearing them go, Justin. Good job over there. And great guests from you two. And now we move over to our teachers. Miss Milliken, this is for you. Stand behind the board, grab your pen, and check out your word. Kaiser Nasir, you guys did a great job guessing that round. You put the pressure on. You're up to 70 points now. Miss Milliken, your five seconds starts right now. Gosh. She said, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, and stop. Here we go. Good luck, ladies. What are we looking at? Oh, you have 10 seconds to talk about it. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah. The answer? Alligator. Yeah, it's an alligator. Absolutely. We are getting sounds. It is a gator. Both sides are just crushing it with the drawing, getting first round. 30 over here, 30 over there. That's 70 points on both sides. Before we go to break, I'm tossing it to some extra credit. All right, I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Ten points on the board for the correct answer they're going to answer during the commercial break. And so are you sitting at home. Here's your question. What color is the gemstone ruby? I'm going to have that answer for you right after the break. We'll see you on the other side. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Boys Latin Middle School in West Philly. You couldn't have picked a better time to tune in. 70 points for our teachers, 70 points for the students. It's all tied up and we went into a little extra credit because I know everybody loves that. So Justin, we asked you this question. What color is the gemstone ruby? You guys came up with what? Say it. Red is right and teachers. <laughs> Are we keeping pace? Is this still a tie game? Red. Red is right. Little Ruby Red. Yes. All right, guys. We jump into this thing. Let's do it. Everybody keep smiling. It's picture day, baby. Okay, squads, grab your buzzers. You guys are going to need them here. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'll give you three clues, and one at a time with each clue, we'll remove three of those boxes. You buzz in first, you get it correct. Ten points gets added to your score. You get it wrong, your whole side's locked out. The other side's going to have a chance to bump in there and steal those points. We have three pictures today, guys. Here's your first with one clue. They got their start on YouTube. We move into clue number two. That was a tough one. Let's see how we do with this one. These identical twin sisters were born in Missouri. Miss Outlaw. Mary Kate and Ashley. Is that Mary Kate and Ashley? Not correct. Boys for the steal. No guess there. And we move on to clue number three. They appeared in the movie The Standoff and the TV show Jane the Virgin. stay silent. We were looking for the Merrill twins right there. The Merrill twins, there they are. Justin, do you know that one now? He's <laughs> like, no. Never seen him before in my life. That's okay, guys. We move right into picture number two. Let's see how you guys do with clue number one. It's a historic building. Buzzer, stay silent. Clue two, give me three more pictures, please, with three more boxes. Following his assassination, President Lincoln's body laid in repose here for two days. Justin? The National Historic Museum. Is that the National Historic Museum? It's not. Teachers have a chance to steal here if they'd like. Otherwise, I'm going to give you guys another clue. Here we go. It was the original home of the Liberty Bell. Miss Outlaw. Independence Hall. Is that Independence Hall? Sure is, right down the road. 
Teachers take the 10 point lead, gets them to 90 points, students with 80. And here we go, it's one picture left. Your clue. He has collaborated on a line of cleats and sneakers with Nike. <laughs> Justin. Cam Newton. Is that Cam Newton? Incorrect. Teachers for the steal if they'd like it. Otherwise, I'm gonna give you three more boxes and another clue. Miss Outlaw. Colin Kaepernick. Is that Colin Kaepernick? Incorrect. Here we go. This athlete played in the Super Bowl themed episode of Double Dare. Justin? Carson Wentz. Is that Carson Wentz? You knew it as soon as he said it. Teachers for the steal if they want it. Otherwise, I'll finish this last clue for you with three more boxes. Here we go. He's the quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. Miss Outlaw. Oh. No, no, no. Sierra's husband. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. Judges. No, it's not Sierra's husband, okay? I got it. I'll tell you what, Justin, you got a chance to steal here. Russell Wilson. You got a buzz in? Oh. There he is, and is that? Dang. Russell Wilson. Oh. Is that Russell Wilson? <laughs> there's ever been a better time for a final exam. Here we go. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a Sierra's husband question here. Any of them, please. All right, the topic of today's final exam is game on. That means all the questions are about different types of games. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Guys, each correct answer you get right is worth 100 points, so there's possible 300 points. You'll write down your answers during the commercial break, but what do you say? I start reading and give you guys these three questions. Here we go. What is the name of the version of Pie Face where two players rapidly mash their buttons at the same time in order to pie their opponent first? That's question one. We move to game on, question two. On the Nickelodeon show Game Shakers, what is the name of the video game app that Babe and Kenzie created as a school science project which helps them launch their own company? Game on, final question. What YouTube star whose real name is Mark Fishback is known for his Let's Play videos of popular survivor, survival horror video games, such as Five Nights at Freddy's. There's your questions, guys. Okay, they're gonna have 60 seconds to talk about this. I'm gonna be honest, those are three very difficult questions today, all about games when we come back. Will it be the students? Will it be the teachers? Someone will reign supreme here in the classroom. They're tied at 90 points right now, but after the commercial break, someone will win and we'll see you right there before you go you want to be a part of the classroom their school's on today what are you doing tomorrow here's how you can do it does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers if you're a principal or an authorized school official go to the classroom.com for more information on how to get on the show into the classroom today it's students and teachers from boys latin middle school the teachers the students head to head scores all tied up topic of today's final exam is game on before i went to break i spoke teams three questions each correct answer guys 100 points let's play final exam here we go what is the name of the version of pie face where two players rapidly mash their buttons at the same time in order to pie their opponents first teachers we're going to you miss roby face smash Incorrect. <laughs> Students, we go to you. Kasir? I don't know. <laughs> no answer. No points there. We stay locked at 90. The answer? Showdown. On the Nickelodeon show Game Shakers, what is the name of the video game app that Babe and Kenzie create a school science project that helps them launch their own company? Teachers. Three question marks. <laughs> Students have a chance here to take the lead. Kasir, you said. Big Will. <laughs> So close, Sky Whale was the right answer. Sky Whale, wow, the door was open, and now we continue. What YouTube star, whose real name is Mark Fishback, is known for his Let's Play videos of popular survival horror video games such as Five Nights at Freddy's. Teachers, you need this one. You said... PewDiePie. Look at that spelling, I love it. But not 
not correct. <laughs> Students, you have a chance to win this thing right now. You said PewDiePie. Incorrect the answer. Markiplier, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to sudden death tiebreaker. Let's go. Here we go. Teams, grab your buzzers. I'm going to ask another question about our final exam topic. The first team to buzz in and get it correct will win this game and $500. If you buzz in and you get it wrong, your team's locked out and the other team's going to have a chance to steal. The question is for the game. What fast-running blue mammal is the hero of his own popular video game franchise, as well as the current mascot of Sega Games? Kassir? Sonic? Sonic's right! Students win the game! Oh, the tiebreaker question! They're taking off $500! And here comes the boss man! Here we go! Yo, fellas! What'd you think? Was that a good game? $500 is going home with them! How'd you get that? You a video game guy? He just knows it. I hope you guys had a great time. Thanks for being here on the classroom when students will always have a chance to say, I'm smarter than my teacher.